Yesterday, I sorted out all the in-lamb yews. These are all the yews that are in-lamb. And eight-year feather. This is kestrel. <laughs> and I've treated most of the ones that are lame. Some hid that they were lame and so will probably be lame and I will treat them tonight when they come back down here. <laughs> but I'm releasing these girls now into the really herbal rich patch of grazing that they will get to graze once every few days for a few hours so that they get one so that the herbal lay sustains itself and two so that they can have the diversity of vitamins and minerals and tannins that will be healthy for them so here we go release Me, somebody swallowed wrong. Come on, girls, out of girls. Come on. Out of girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Nah. Gotta go through the mucky stuff to get to the good stuff. Out of girls. Nah. Come on. Nah. Come on. Nah. There we go. Look at that. Atta girls. <laughs> Lots of yarrow. You can see these are the seed heads of the yarrow. So here you can see the yarrow fronds down on the ground. That's yarrow. <laughs> Great for vitamins and minerals and tannins. Java, leave it, enough. So they're, if they head down this way, there's a lot of chicory and they're gonna love the chicory. Uh, here you can see there's a bit of celandine. There's celandine, very good for when the sheep's not feeling well. But these yews <laughs> at the front are gonna hit the first um, the chicory, which is really good. Deep rooted, so it draws up loads of vitamins and minerals. There's also lots of docks in here, which are really good. Deep rooted with lots of vitamins and minerals. So you like the deep rooted herbs. And then there's things like salad brunette. I love salad brunette. It's such a deep rooted drought tolerant plant. I'm just hoping it needs time to establish. So it's one of the herbs that I'm very careful about not allowing the sheep to overgraze, just like the uh, chicory. Yep, look, they're diving into the chicory. I knew they would. So there's lots of chicory in here and docks. So there's a mixture and they'll be eating both the chicory and the docks. Down here, there's also lots of clovers. Well, there's lots of clovers throughout here you can see those are docks. There's a chicory and big dandelions. So look at them chowing down on the chicory. See here's, this is the chicory like that. Do you see it's kind of got that white 
broad and this is dark so you can see the difference look at them chowing down on the chicory nom 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 very good definitely liking the chicory its deep roots bring up vitamins and minerals from deep in the ground but you just don't want to overgraze it it's the same with docks docks bring the vitamins and minerals up from deep underground here's more salad brunette that i love i'm a big fan of salad brunette so there's a lot of it here more there so i'm very pleased to see that there's loads of it coming through this is the cultivar uh, salad brunette that i sowed uh, which is slightly different it has this dark leaf or sorry dark stalk on it so you can see these are actually two different kinds of salad brunettes that's oh no that one's just younger or older so they are going to have a feast lucky 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 ladies a feast of good herbs and I'll leave them up here for uh, a couple of hours and then they won't be in here for a period of days so it'll be a rotation uh, coming through so that the plants have time to recover I don't want to them it's very important for them not to overgraze my uh, herbal patch just for long term health reasons for both the herbal patch and the sheep. Look at that, they are absolutely loving it. And the morning light, the morning sun is glorious. The sun is shining above the beech trees. Can't beat that for beautiful. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>